All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot, and I've been having some trouble today getting a uh, proper Let's Play set up here. I always seem to be muted on my microphone. So anyway, we're going to go for Difficulty Soyuz, second hardest, difficulty equivalent to Immortal, which I'm quite familiar with on uh, Civilization V. Uh, we'll go for Standard Size Planet, and we'll go for Ra uh, Chung Su here. So his trait is that... He starts off with one free agent, and every successful covert action gets him 10 science per agent rank. Now that goes up to 15 science once you upgrade it, and then finally to 30 science. So that's multiplied by agent rank as well, and uh, what that will lead to is potentially 90 science maximum. So I went with uh, the scanners to find the minerals, because that's very helpful. We're going with a laboratory, because it gives us a free tech, which is good. I think that's really good. Workers are also good, but I think I like this a bit better. And we're going to try to find ourselves a friggin' lush world of some sort here. Preferably a lush protein world, like this one. Bulsati 258H. Good lord. Who comes up with these names? Alright, let's get started here. So, I'm curious to see what aquatic play is like on a uh, Pangaea-style map. And, um, uh, I'm also, uh, yeah, just a lot of curiosity there, and, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll... And uh, I'm also curious about Chung Su itself here. So, and uh, we'll see what sort of uh, do some hybrid affinity stuff. But I think the most effective one is going to be to uh, go ahead and uh, go for the probably go for the, uh, whatchamacallit there, the Transcendence Victory, even though that's really, really friggin' boring. Although they might have a cinematic for it now. I noticed they have a cinematic for the Defeat. I believe they have one for, uh, Supremacy Domination and Purity Domination now. So, uh, I'll take a look at it. They have one. I'd like to see, uh, one for, uh, the, uh, Supremacy, uh, Emancipation, that's what it's called. And also, uh, for the other one there, Emancipation is actually something that's really... would be quite interesting. It would be quite in the character of Chung Su. Sounds like they engineer their people to be, like, uh, kind of living cyborgs anyway. And... Fuck the Hydro Curl. All right. I said, fuck the Hydro Coral. And things are freezing up on me. Lovely. Old computer's having a bit of trouble here, folks. There we go. I'm just gonna get my lovely timer set up here, and I think 15 minutes is probably a good idea. We'll select a project. We'll go for Homeland Security. It's a good thing to start off with. We don't have health problems immediately. And, uh, we'll keep this guy... we'll keep this guy in HQ for now. And we will get our old Earth Relics set up, and, uh, we'll just take a look at what we've got around here. Yeah, that's seeming pretty legit. We'll focus on production, and we'll lock this guy to, uh, that tile. And let's go. All right, sorry for the silence, guys. I had to cough there for a second. So we're going to take a peek at this. Ooh, big Hydro Coral. So we could get a free unit from this, I think. Ancient Alien Remains. Let's, uh... Can we not set up an expedition here? Interesting. That is... 
maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's the uh, marvel that we have as the uh, ancient alien. That probably is. We can't set up an expedition yet. We need to find like a giant, a giant ass uh, skeleton or something. That's probably what we need to find. All right, so we're going to go hunting around for that, and uh, we'll continue to just bombard this hydro coral here, get rid of it. We'll continue to uh, poke around here. And pretty soon we'll get this city set up for... We'll get this city set up for uh, going ahead and uh, doing some wonderful exploration. Or movement. We're going to move it. And this is going to be slow. Because we're not playing as the uh, NSA. So, it's going to kind of suck. But oh well. And let's take a look here at what we've got set up. We've got a good one set up here. So we'll lock that one down too. And moving our city. That's going to take eight freaking turns. That's pretty bad. So actually what we're going to do next is we're going to do our trade depot. We're going to... I'm going to follow the general build order of Academy Spam for now. In the long run, I'd like to uh, get my thermal, uh, thermal line rudder so I can get this city to move a lot faster. But in the meantime, we'll uh, just do stuff. I'd like, it's <laughs> I'd like to get our uh, city to be a bit more tropical. Hello. A derelict coastal settlement. Let's take a look at uh, that right there. Get our expedition set up. I think we'll go for uh, prosperity to begin with, and then we'll figure out uh, whether we want to do knowledge or industry. Industry is really good for gold. And the uh, academy spam for vanilla is actually really good. Although, something to keep in mind, there is bonuses for covert operations in here somewhere. So like right here, 40% intrigue, survivalism. This is mostly military. Let's just take a look here. Martial mediations, choose one free affinity level. Okay, I thought that was an agent for a second. Stations, brutal efficiency, democratized quartering. Oh, Channeled Wrath. Okay, so this is primarily just bonuses there. Um, sorry guys, I'm just quickly taking a look for stuff that uh, actually has some help here. So this will help for academies somewhat. We'll have to see. Recruit one new covert agent. That's at the bottom of the knowledge tree. That's something to keep in mind. Anyway, apologies for taking so long on that. We're going for this, we're going for this, we're going for a free colonist to start off with. And I think with our second city, we're probably going to do uh, a lot of uh, just moving around. And we'll get our expedition all set up here. We got Farbase 1 that's been found. Take a look if we can uh, actually see anybody else. No, not yet. Wow, we're kind of limited in how far we can look at here. That's too bad. I guess nobody's landed yet. It's only turn 13. And that rudder takes for fucking ever to build. That's That really sucks. All right, so we want extra culture from our old earth relics, and uh, what do we want next here? Ordinarily, I'd go for like genetics and uh, cognition, but I think computing is actually more important here because we got the spy agency. That means we uh, need to pick either ecology or engineering next. Let's see. They both have their benefits. I think I'll go with engineering, because I can get the thorium reactor. That'll produce additional energy, which will be very good for us. And uh, this location pretty much sucks. 
Yeah, this is a terrible start location. We should uh, consider moving the city. Takes 30 turns to build the rudder. Yeah, it's not worth it for now. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And we can get our free virtue, which is a free colonist. So that's pretty cool. They're suggesting settling right over there. Seems interesting. We'll get a free patrol boat when we do. So long as we don't get attacked by aliens. Because that would be very, very bad. I'll ruin the game right from the get-go. Hey, somebody's here! I have to pop in and say hello. Later on. Uh, this seems like a decent spot. Sure, let's find the outpost. Let's uh, poke around, see what we've got. Additional research. Very good. And we've uh, found a hull repair suit in pristine condition. What will this give us? This will give us a lot of production. I think we'll save on. We'll hold on to that for now. We'll maybe use it to rush a wonder. Or uh, we'll see what it combines with. With other uh, delicious old earth stuff. And... Uh... We'll uh, try to get this explorer to go find uh, these people. Yeah, we'll find those people. Poke around, explore a little bit. Find delicious goodie huts. That's a lot of aliens. And we found old tapes of uh, Bad Earth sitcoms. Yay! That's what I'm saying we're found. That's what I'm saying we found. Hmm. All right, guys. Do I want to continue on with the growth path here, or do I want to, uh... I don't think it's necessary to continue on with this for now. I'm intrigued by science, but I'm concerned that I'm going to be, uh, energy starved. But, you know what, let's, uh, let's take a look at it here. Five energy in the capital, ten production towards buildings that probably doesn't qualify for uh, moving the city, otherwise I'd take it in a heartbeat. Um, yeah, this one's focused on trade. Let's let's give this a try. Let's try knowledge. It's probably good. Well, some people uh, actually say it's not in the old one, but uh, you know what? For Chung Su, eventually we'll get that extra agent just might be good enough for us. The aliens are being very friendly. We found another old dead alien. Got ourselves Xenomass. See about getting a little bit closer to... Uh... Sweet. Energy is a good thing. And this place is ready for new production here, which is either move the city, get a worker set up. Okay, so it's reset all my workers because I've uh, moved the entire frickin' city. That's a bit unfortunate. You know what, let's move the city a little bit more. Like I said, I'm trying to slowly get it out of the uh, ocean there. 
And we're making these things be exclusively for trade depots. And you know what I really should have done here, folks? Should have actually built a trade convoy. So I'm going to do that instead. Screw moving the city for now. I know I'm sitting on top of a resource, but yeah, screw moving the city for now. We want to at least get some trade up first. Well, cool. units need orders. Let's order that unit onto dry land. So there's a sunken spacecraft underneath this uh, alien hydro coral. Wonderful. And somebody's landing over here. Cool. Let's get this guy onto... Right, he can't get onto dry land because he's a boat. And they're probably going to attack my boat. Oh, they're not. All right, so we got somebody on a uh, coast of some sort here. That's good. Let's not pillage this. We have the choice now, so let's not pillage it. Okay. Well, that's kind of frustrating that I can't make contact with that city yet. Oh, well. Looks like there's a bunch of people I'll be able to talk to soon enough. Actually, where is the closest one? One all the way over there on a hill. There's one up here, which is... Pretty much in the middle of frickin' nowhere, so yeah, this one's still the closest. Question is, how do I get to it? Well, with that many aliens, I'm not doing anything all that quickly. Personality traits you currently have don't seem as useful. Oh, we can get personality traits. Excellent. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look at what we've got. And we will manage my personality traits. We will uh, pick this one. And uh, there we go. So when we meet people, when we meet people, we're going to be slightly more effective. So this is like turn 30 and I've already been able to upgrade that. So it's pretty good. It goes pretty quickly. It looks like uh, Dangol here is, uh, we've got a city. Excellent. Very, very good, folks. Let's get an old Earth Relic set up. And that's the timer going off, telling me it's the end of the turn. So, uh, all right, let's see here. 30 turns to move this bloody city here. Not impressed. Can we purchase anything? No, not yet. All right, so this city is actually a piss poor location. It's gonna get us a lot of energy, but it's gonna take a while to actually get anything set up here. So that's unfortunate. Anyway, we will, yeah, we'll give the science one set up. And fortunately, I don't actually care about uh, being on dry land because I'm an idiot. I'll probably settle, like, my third or fourth city on dry land. And I'm going to put a cut here, and uh, I'll see you guys in part two. Thank you for watching. See you soon.